All right, y'all, video cut off because I ran out of space on my iPad, so I had to make some more room. But we back now. Uh, I'm going to go back to verse um, 13. Uh, we are in Isaiah chapter 60, starting at verse 13. Uh, it says, The glory of the Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The, pe um, the new kingdom, bro, it's going to be beautiful, bro. This place will be off the chain, bro. It's like beyond your wildest imaginations, bro. Like the most I say, I wrote it down right here. I can't, I didn't get the verse, but I wrote down, um, I wrote what it said though. Um, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men what the Lord hath prepared for thee. The, what the most, what the most I has prepared for us, bro, when all this is over. I can't even imagine, bro. Can't even imagine. Uh, let me see. Verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at thy soles or thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many uh, generations. He will restore us a million fold over for what um we have been cheated out of our entire lives, bro. Everything that we were um, you know, you know, just shot away from, bro, and just talked down about, we getting all that restored on us, bro. Uh, verse 16. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of the kings, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, that I the Lord am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Now, do not take that verse literally as what it says, as we're going to actually be sucking the breast of Gentiles. No, don't take that literally, bro. <laughs> verse 17, for brass, I will bring this um key one right here for brass. I will bring gold and for iron and for iron. I will bring silver and for wood, brass and for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteous. We're going to exchange everything, bro gold and silver this is why um government man that's why the um the money is going down you know people only taking cat of uh, cards now because there's no there's no coins and stuff bro because everything's being melted bro it's going to turn back into gold and silver like it was in the ancient days bro the lord will cry is what is old bro everything is going to be reverted back that's why it says gold and silver here because you may ask you know how are we gonna get gold and silver if everybody got dollars and change well that's why everything's gonna go back down we're gonna have cash cashless society and then we're going to change it off and we're going to go into, um, we're going to have gold and silver again. Because the dollars that we have now, bro, they're not worth anything, bro. They're not, actually, let me get a dollar, bro. I can't remember what somebody told me. I learned it in one of the videos, man. It's like, I got to see. Let me check this. Oh, here we go right here. The top of your dollar, bro. It'll say Federal Reserve note. Bro, that means it's it's not real. This is not actual money, bro. This is a reserve. This is not even has this has no value, bro. Has literally no value. Federal Reserve note note pretty much means that it has no value. That's what it was, bro. Federal Reserve note, bro. It's on the top of all your money, bro. Every dollar bill you got. Dollars, uh slugs, five dollars. Ten dollars, twenty dollars, slugs one dollar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said that in a slang, but uh, yeah, bro, everything. It said Federal Reserve on, on top of everything, bro. It's, it has no value. Um, verse eighteen. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. We're gonna have no more, every, bro. It'll be complete peace in the kingdom, bro. Complete peace. Everybody will be under one accord, bro. Verse 19, the sun, shall, the sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee in everlasting light, in thy glory, thy in thy God, thy glory. Didn't it say in Revelations that the most high God will be our light? The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give the light anymore, bro. There's no need of a sun or moon in the kingdom because the most high will be our light. Didn't it say that? I'm telling you, bro, it correlates correlates every time verse 20 the sun shall no more go down neither shall thy moon withdraw uh, itself for the lord shall be in thy everlasting light and the days of thy morning shall be ended 
Now notice how in um, in 1920 it says, you know, the Lord will be our light. And in Revelations 21, it said the Lord and the Lamb will be our light. The uh, the prophet Isaiah didn't even know anything of the Lamb. He knew of the Lamb, but the Most High didn't re uh, reveal everything onto him because he didn't know of it. That script, that, I forgot what verse it is, but that's proven through scriptures too, like it says here. Um, where is it? Twenty one and uh, twenty two uh, revelations. And I saw no temple therein for the for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple therein. Uh, twenty three. And the city had no need of sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did light it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Isaiah, this is a, a, the book of Isaiah is in the Old Testament, bro. He didn't know of the Lamb. He knew of the Lamb because uh, he was given prophetic things, like I said in Isaiah. He you know he knows of the Lamb. He's gonna come back and um. I'm not sure if that's Isaiah or Jeremiah, to be honest. Don't say my word for that, but I know that everything wasn't the prophets weren't didn't reveal uh weren't shown everything by the Most High. He showed Most High showed them certain things so that they can tell us, but they didn't get the whole story. Oh, oh cool, my battery almost dead. But um, Most High didn't reveal everything onto them, bro. That's why he didn't put. That's why you may ask yourself why I didn't say about why I didn't talk about Yahweh shot in that part. Well, because Isaiah didn't know anything of Yahweh shot. Um, where was I at? Oh, uh, 20. Uh, like I said, um, and also, um, verse 20 at the bottom, it says, the days of thy mourning shall be no more, uh, shall be ended. Um, like I said, everything will be complete peace, bro. We have no need to cry. Everything will be done over with, bro. Everything will be over and done with, bro. We will be completely done with everything. There will be new history, things that everything will be, have come to pass. And this will be a new beginning. Uh, verse 21, we're gonna finish it off. Thy people also shall be all the thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in time. That part is talking about babies, bro. The smallest and the weak, even the smallest and weakest Israelite, bro, will have a thousand children, bro. Like, just imagine how great we're going to be. Most I said right here, he said the lowest, the, the little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. He will have many children. Just talking about the babies, man. We need to have peace, tranquility, and most high Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, bro. That's all we're going to have in the kingdom. Peace, tranquility, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You Israel, man, this word resonates with you. You just got to be grateful. I'm about to make a video on gratefulness later on today. Cause I got class in probably uh 30 minutes, so and I won't take my time with that video. It ain't gonna be too long, but I hope it won't. If it is, I'll break it into two parts. But just gotta be grateful, man. I'm about to make a video. Like I said, I'm about to make a video on, on gratefulness later on today. But this is just beautiful, man. Like I said, you got time, bro. Just I know when I'm feeling down and stuff, and I feel doubtful, bro. I just you need some hope and just want to feel like you know. You don't want to think that you're, everything you're doing is in vain. Like, I know this truth is not, it's not easy, bro. If it was easy, it, it'll be a lot more Israel like if it was easy. Well, of course, the most I ordains everything, but this stuff ain't easy. Just to go through. I mean, of course, following the law of liberty is definitely not hard at all. Like, um, Yahweh should I say, you know, my word is not, um, won't be a burden. I forgot the correct wording, everything. Um, bro, for saying, he's like, my word won't be a burden on to you. Like the law of Moses was. So, Continue to just um just pray, man, and just stay in his word. It's definitely gonna be a long journey. Who knows? No man knows the, the hour when Yahweh will return or when the great tribulation is gonna be start cracking off. We got signs to look out for, but um, like I said, no man knows the timing. So just gotta stay steadfast. Just stay ready soon, you gotta get ready. And like I said, you ever want to just just know that, you know. You want to just continue to look forward, you know, that the, the light end of the tunnel, bro. Just read Revelation 20, uh, 21. Just go 15 through 21. Just read that. And like I said, Google the stones that you see that are written in here, bro. Just look how beautiful they are, bro. All of them stones are going to be in the kingdom. Just a little encouragement for today. Um, that'll be the end of this lesson. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah. All praises due. 
Uh, stay tuned on another video coming on later on tonight. Hopefully YouTube ain't messing with me. Get these videos uploaded. I got the Kingdom uh, Part 1 uploaded yesterday. So we're going to hopefully Part 2 and 3 get uploaded today. But all right, Israel. Shalom.